Should you bulk or cut in calisthenics? Well, let's look at a few different cases. People say that in calisthenics, you should maintain a constant body weight so that it becomes easier to learn skills over time. But if you're overweight, obese, or even if you're muscular but have some excess body fat that you can lose easily, then you should definitely cut. Because extra fat is just extra weight that you have to carry while doing calisthenics exercises which will make them harder. This extra weight is going to make more advanced calisthenics skills like planche, front lever, muscle up even harder. If you are already lightweight then maintaining a constant body weight will actually help you learn skills faster. But adding a slight calorie surplus wouldn't hurt either because it makes your strength output higher, it makes recovery easier and it will also make building muscle easier because more muscle equals more potential strength. If you eat in too big of a surplus then you'll gain weight way too quickly which most of that weight will be fat and your skills will definitely suffer. If you are a skinny teenager then eating in a calorie surplus is actually better because at this age you are growing and to maximize your growth a calorie surplus is ideal. Also at this age building muscle is pretty easy so you might as well just take advantage of that with a calorie surplus. And of course, any extra fat that you gain in this bulk can just be cut later on. If you look at a lot of high level street workout athletes, they're usually quite lean, but also quite muscular. So this combination is the best for high level strength skills and especially static skills. When it comes to strength lifting, things are a little bit different. Now, unless you want a very high pound for pound strength, meaning you want to achieve lifts, which are a certain multiple of your body weight, for example, a weighted dip with an additional 1.5 times your body weight or a weighted pull up with an additional 75 to 80% of your body weight, then maintaining a certain weight is actually ideal. You can even main gain or recomp, but for that you need a sufficient level of body fat to begin with. If you're already on the leaner side, then main gaining or recomping doesn't really make any sense. Again, if you don't have much muscle to begin with, then eating in a slight surplus is actually better because more muscle equals more potential strength and any excess fat can be cut later on when you want to peak in strength. If you want to just increase your lifts and you don't really care about pound for pound performance, then bulking is actually a good idea. Now it goes without saying that if you're overweight or obese or you're unhappy with the amount of body fat that you have, then yeah, bulking is pretty much something that you shouldn't do. If you look at certain elite street lifters, they've actually bulked over the years to increase their lifts. A good example of this is Matthew's lat. A few years ago when he dipped 175 kg, he was actually relatively lean. But a few years after that, he dipped 195 kg and he was heavier at that time. He probably had more muscle, but he definitely had more body fat as well. And I mean, to add 20 kg to your weighted dip when you're already at that elite of a level is pretty insane. So bulking clearly helped him. Terry Cole, an elite street lifter, had this to say about gaining weight. Those extra kilos really affect the muscle up and the pull up. You know, not much the dip. The dip, you can probably increase your body weight and the dip won't suffer. Muscle up and the, and the pull up, yeah. You know, that body weight really makes a difference. For example, if I weight a couple or three kilos more, I easily lose five kilos of muscle up. For example, now I'm weighting 90 kilos and I'm planning to going down to 87 in the, in the next few months. I will gain five kilo muscle up like, like nothing. So clearly gaining weight too quickly will negatively impact your weighted muscle up and maybe even your weighted pull up. So if you really want to optimize your weighted muscle up, then maintaining the leanest body fat percentage that you can maintain which allows you to perform really well and recover well is a good idea. Now don't get too lean though because getting too lean makes recovery harder. It increases the risk of injury because extra body fat is actually like a cushion around your joints. So you actually need that if you want to pull more weight or push more weight. Plus being too lean just causes a bunch of other problems as well. So it's best to avoid that. Everybody is different. Some people can maintain a really lean body fat percentage and feel fine while for others it's a nightmare. So just do what works best for you. If your main goal is the weighted dip, then yeah, bulking will actually really help you here. Like I said, in the case of Matthew's lat. Don't bloat max though, because you are still lifting your own body weight in street lifting, unlike in power lifting. So yeah, bloat maxing doesn't work in calisthenics. Sorry, Grizzly. <laughs> What I did is last year I was focusing solely on static skills 
so I maintained a constant body weight throughout the year, which made progress easier. And now this year I'm focusing mainly on weighted calisthenics. So I'm eating in a slight surplus. So that has made progress and performance better. In conclusion, you need to bulk cut or maintain according to your goals in calisthenics. There is no strict rule of what you have to do because calisthenics is a very diverse sport and it has many different disciplines with different requirements. So with experience, you will learn how your body responds to different things and you will learn what is best for you and your goals. So that's pretty much it for this video. Subscribe if you found value, like the video as well. See ya.